This was filmed live in front of a live studio audience at the Foof Production Studio. Hello and welcome back to Stick Love Peace Cooking. And yes, I know we're in a different setting, but that does not matter. I'm your host, Olivia Myers, and today we will be making creamy lemon cheesecake. Let's get started, shall we? And for the ingredients and supplies, we will need one circular pan, two sticks of Philadelphia cream cheese, two containers of Maria cookies, one stick of unsalted butter, one can of condensed milk, and one lemon. Let's get started with the cooking, shall we? First, we'll start off by washing our hands and washing our ingredients. You, you'll start off by emptying your cookies into a bowl, which we already did. And in case you don't have a cooking hammer, you can use a rolling pin to crush them. You should crush it into a powder, not too fine. It should look something like this. Then place your stick of butter into a microwave bowl container and place it in the microwave until melted into a liquid with no chunks whatsoever. Then you place the butter into the microwave until melted all the way. Once the butter is done melting, it should look a little something like this. Then you empty out half of the butter into the crumbs. If it is too dry, once you add the butter, then add the other half, and then mix. Next, set aside your butter and bring in your pan. You are going to lay the crumbs on the bottom of the pan and pat them down. This will be the crust of the cheesecake. Then you're going to want to pat down the crumbs into an even thin layer. This will be the crust of the cheesecake. It should look something like this. Next, we take our crust and place it in the oven at 350 for five minutes. Next, you empty all the cream cheese into the mixing bowl. You should use this setting. Next, you're going to turn your mixer on at the lowest setting. Then you stop the mixer and put in the can of condensed milk. And then put it back on the lowest setting. Next, you turn on the mixer at the lowest speed again. Then we take four ounces of sour cream and empty it into the mixture. I forgot to mention this on the ingredient list and I sincerely apologize. So we empty the whole container into the mixture. Four ounces of sour cream. Oh, looks like our crust is almost done. look. Oh, looks like our cream is at the perfect texture. Next, you zest your lemon. Once your whole lemon is zested, it is time to cut your lemon. Next, you cut the lemon in half. Then, it's time for the eggs. You will need about four eggs, and you just crack them in one at a time into the blender. Now add each egg one at a time, and then mix in between. Once all the eggs are incorporated into the mix, you can now turn off your blender.
Then you juice the lemon into the zest. Then you incorporate the zest with the lemon juice. Then we pour our lemon mixture into the cream. Then you turn on the mixer to your lowest setting once you have the lemon mixture in. And let that incorporate. Then you outline the pan and foil. Once your mixture is done, it should look like this. Everything should be well incorporated. Now you take your leftover butter and brush the sides of the pan with the butter. Once you're done brushing, take the cream mixture and pour it into the pan. Then you take a pen and fill it with water and put it in the oven at 350, which is what we're going to cook our cheesecake in. Then you place your cheesecake into the pan of, that has water in it and set it in there for 40 to 45 minutes on 350. Looks like that the cheesecake has finished cooking. So then you just take it out of the oven. Let it cool for a half hour more and then place it in the fridge. After a few hours, it should look something like this. Now it's time for our taste tester to try. Oh, that is for me it's to taste. Let me try. Wonderful. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and hit that bell. This was filmed by Folks Productions. Until next time, the log.